Good afternoon, dear ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Yuri Beserat, and I would like to talk to you on uh, practical aspects of uh, autodidactics. I mean, I share my experience of using uh, autodidactics that was developed by Valery Kurinsky. Today, I have I've chosen three issues which, are, in my opinion, are very important uh, to us. The first one, I will start with a, with a little story. So many of us go to work in the office, right? And uh, that's where we spend a lot of our time. But some of us who are more skilled, when, whenever uh, uh, our boss leaves to do something else, we could read the book, the favorite book, we could listen to music, we could um, do something else that we really like. We can do it during little pauses when uh, nobody's around us, or everybody went for a smoke, or for lunch, etc., etc. In other words, we in addition to our main work, we are doing something else which uh, are very important uh, for us, for our life. And then, of course, we think that we will come home in the evening and finally we will forget this job, we will forget this work and do something which, is, which really matters to, to our heart. And the situation is that when we come home, and sit down and finally start reading this book or doing something that we really love, it doesn't work. Somehow children interfere, wife or husband, neighbors, everything is not the same like in the office. So, what to do? And as a result, we do less home when we really have a chance, when we really have freedom but we do less of uh, something that we uh, really love than uh, we are in the office, when we need to do our main job, main work. Kurinsky named this phenomena uh, as, um, as a margin. In other words, we, on the margins of our uh, imagination, we can do, or on the margin of our mind or our thinking, it comes out we can do really more than, uh, than in the middle, than uh, like in the main stream uh, in, in our thinking. And he advised uh, us to replace, to take, for example, this is, uh, this is my drawing of the office. So, and he advised us to, to shift like from the main, what we do, uh, what we really want to do, we need to shift it to the side, to the margin, and to to uh, to um, to find what we can do uh, here in uh, in the middle, in the mainstream of our activity. For example, I already uh, told you about the office, how it works, and now we can use it uh, consciously. But for those of you who study foreign languages, for example, or music or art. Uh, let's 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 start with foreign languages. For example, we know that we want to learn, let's say, French. But this is a real. Or we we want to remember many words, but we know that this is unrealistic. We have to to, to be aware of that. That it's it, it's it's impossible. So we move this goal of remembering many words to the side, to the margins, and here, in the middle we do something that we really uh, can do. And we pronounce, we learn to pronounce French words. For example, we analyze movements and uh, at the beginning we just try to learn how to pronounce correctly a word, then a sentence, then a little part of the text. And further on, we will be able to read really big, big, uh, big books or big, uh, big stories. So, but we still need to keep here in the middle as the main focus. We need to keep this moment. The same with, uh, uh, or we should focus on the moment. The same concerns uh, about music or paint, and you can replace this formula with any activity you want, but the, main, the most important is that we need to shift like the, the knowledge, the, the memorization to the sides, though we understand this is important for us, but we need to shift it to the side because it's impossible to, to work on the memory, in fact. But indirectly, 
if we work on the movements or let's say words or movements in uh, in music or in painting if we work on the movements we really will remember and we can control it so we can we can see the the success so this is the first point and uh, just imagine that uh, i have never seen kurinsky read in a book though he was he read a lot awfully a lot but i never saw it i know that i saw him playing um, uh, making exercises on the uh, on the violin and uh, but that's it never reading <laughs> never reading a book though he had probably one of the best libraries in uh, that i saw in my life okay so this it speaks that he also used this um, this um, principle of moving everything to the margins or the most uh, the the main tasks to the margins and uh, working only on scales and here we come to uh, to the next important issue that or recommendation of his and uh, not to focus on results for example we uh, our life dip, um, we, we hear about results and people call us to results whether it's in the office or at, at some other place in the school university people want us to, to to achieve something and they call it a result they call it a result when there is like a mark when there is a good salary when there is a position in the cabinet or ministers or in the state department so uh, those are the results for people but in fact those things uh, put poison in uh, as soon as we achieve results or as soon as we fo uh, if we become focused on results we um we become very unhappy because uh, we as humans we want to develop and result it's it's a one-time action it doesn't give us really a pleasure or it could be a moment of happiness for example if somebody gets uh, a raise right oh yes very good but in fact uh, this is one time action it doesn't last and we want always to have something lasting whether it's friendship whether it's love whether it's um, uh, a skill or uh, something that we we love to do we want continuity and for that we need to uh, not to focus on the results but on the skills then we control we come back to the skills you see we, and then we can control and we can see and the, that will really make us happy okay next time we uh, i came almost uh, to the last point but uh, uh it comes uh, we will i will i wanted to speak now about uh, the internal voice or internal dialogue that we have all the time and uh, the difference between healthy people and not healthy people is that healthy or many of those who uh, who practice uh, autodidactics we already know that we have a dual nature and we uh, we uh, observe ourselves and we can observe this dialogue in us but very often if we analyze this internal dialogue it's it's rubbish it's a result of what we saw on TV or in a bus or somewhere else on a bus stop or in, in, in our work. It's not something that, that makes us closer or that promotes or supports uh, our development or our skills. Usually it's, uh, it's very messy. So after this, uh, we need to do something and the simple uh, the the most simple thing to do is just to do, uh, to give some topics to this internal dialogue or to this uh, no, uh, internal voice the topic uh, the topics could be uh, uh, various could be different we could uh, give the assignment to internal voice or to internal dialogue or to internal i or self to speak about uh, our skills about uh, art about uh, books uh, something like more concrete and uh, something that we can observe and to some extent we can control we control it because we gave the assignment to us to the uh, to this internal let's say voice and uh, if we don't do it we are very close to uh, people who have who have schizophrenia because schizophrenia is when the dialogue internal dialogue is not under the control of the imagination or un not under the control of a person who uh, who has that so 
This is a very good uh, exercise and it will make us really uh, happier and healthier at the same time. I remember uh, that once I read um, an expression of Paul Cézanne, French artist, uh, who said, si vous voulez peindre, coupez votre langue. In, in English it will be, if you want to paint, cut off your tongue. Huh? It's a very strange expression, right? But Cézanne probably knew that we have this internal dialogue and if we want to to stop it and if we want to paint it's necessary to stop it and uh, and work on the skill so i hope um, that this will help you to reorganize some uh, some of the things you do and uh, if you like this program put uh, put like and uh, you can put questions under under this video also you can share it with your with your friends and um, until the next uh, video, until the next program, bye-bye.